Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. Definitely not my kitchen. So this is my network in a box. Wasn't gonna make a video about it, but then my buddy said, that's cool, you should make a video about it. So here I am. So this is network in a box. A lot of times on video shoots or even just for doing network testing, I'll need a separate network that I can easily set up for Wi-Fi so that way I can control the cameras, link them all together to like, you know, synchronize uh, start of shooting. A lot of times in my live stuff that I do, so for live streaming, I need a network for obviously for getting the internet, but also for just sending NDI between two computers, stuff like that. I need a network. Also for lighting, I use Artnet for just about everything, which if you don't know, Artnet is essentially lighting control over the network and it goes over you know the network, but then it also uses a DMX connector. So this is just an XLR port. So this is my box. Quick little tour of the outside. It's got two LAN ports on it. These are PoE, and then it also has a WAN port for you know my uplink, and then my DMX port. And then on this side, we have IEC in and out. All right, so popping this guy open, we have a Linksys router. So this is just an old Linksys that I had laying around. Um, it wasn't being used for anything. I had to shave down the sides a little bit in order to get it to properly fit in this case, just in the, up here in the lid. This router was broken. The WAN port was all jacked up on it. So I directly soldered to the pads on the inside a new WAN connector. But it also has things like my power cable, a couple network cables, and then this is my licensed dongle for Jans Vista. And then we also have a Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter. The guts of this guy are a little bit special. So essentially we just have a hole that I cut out in the side of this AKG box where I used pass through connectors. Uh, this is my port that comes in for DMX. And then this is the uh, DMX AN2. Um, this gets power over PoE. So under here I have a PoE switch. It's a little five port AMOX switch. These uh, cables then go, this one feeds the WAN connection. And these guys go and connect to the, to the switch. We have the power supply for the switch, and this is the power supply for the router. What I did was I just hacked off the end of an IEC cable, and then the end of this power brick. Wire nutted them all together up here, and then it comes over here to the power in. Everything can be stored in here that's used for it. This is something just pretty basic. My goal of this project was to not spend any extra money on it, and just to use old stuff that I had laying around. And... Um, Mission accomplished. One other note real quick is that everything that's in here is mounted in place, so. All right, so this is just a quick little uh, layout of the network and kind of how I have some stuff hooked up. So if I just have, you know, my two laptops that I'm running stuff with, they can be plugged into the network box. The network box doesn't even need to be open. This stuff is such low power that it doesn't really create any heat. I could plug in some light stuff right here. I've got my Vista dongle and my big laptop. Got my two uh, network adapters. I don't really use the Thunderbolt one anymore for my main laptop here because uh, the Thunderbolt ports are kind of loose. So it becomes like super easy to pop out versus this guy, which is like still pretty secured. So I just use a USB network adapter. Now there's also a free PoE port left on the switch inside of the box. So I could add something like a pro access point or whatever I really wanted for that. Um, I just have to open up the box, which here, I can do that real quick. Typically the access point that I use for testing and for like on the go is the APAC Pro, which has, an, uh, which has a secondary port on it. What I'll often do is for stuff like uh, my Dante box or anything like that, the network box will be at the stage. It'll be powering everything. And then this guy will be by me in the back at front of house and then I'll send out a laptop or a secondary switch. So I pretty much had all this stuff laying around. This was just the stuff that I would already be bringing with me, except for instead of being in a nice little box like this, it would all be in my backpack and I would have to undo it all and then hook it all up. So this way everything pretty much stays connected, you know, all the main connections. And then all I have to do is populate it with devices. I built this in like half an hour one night. I just used a knife to stab out all the, the holes for the network jacks. And then I used, uh, I did actually use a drill for the DMX port. But other than that, it works. I'm very happy with it. It does everything I want it to do. But I might change it around and use a Ubiquiti router next time. But for right now, it works. It's great. I don't need really anything with VLANs right now. I will in the future. So there will be a Rev2 of this, except for instead of being in a box, it will be in a rack. Thanks for taking a look at my... Uh, little network box. See you guys in the next one.